question is from Fit Nikki. I'm a middle school PE teacher and I'm passionate about lifting. How would you teach a weightlifting class if you were the teacher? Would you start body weight and then teach them lifts? Any ideas on programming would be great. Oh, yeah, that'd be awesome. I'd start uh, with Prime. Yeah, yeah. I, I mean, correctional exercises would be phenomenal. Um, basic exercises that are really good that you can teach, because this is a group, so you're a little bit of a challenge, right? You're teaching a group of kids, so it's hard to be you know, individualized, but um, I would teach a, st a st standard lunge. Um, it's easier for somebody to do that than it is for them to do a squat with, with decent mechanics. Um, you could try push-ups. Push-ups, you know, I know they do those in school, but if you've ever watched kids do push-ups, mm. it's usually pretty terrible mm -hmm. um, the way that they tend to do them. So you could start with just a plank where the kids are just holding themselves up by their arms and you're timing them for, you know, 10 seconds or whatever. Um, and then you could do, you know, play drills. You know, because here's the thing as a teacher, um, we can all remember the, the few teachers that we had that we really enjoyed, right? The ones that really made an impact. And the reason why we remembered them is they made learning really fun. So I think when you're working with kids, because I've trained a lot of kids, it's when I'm training adults, it tends to be more about making sure everything I'm doing is right for mm -hmm. them. When I'm teaching kids, I want to make sure that the experience is right. Does yeah. that make sense? Yeah. I yeah. I think to the middle school is a little bit of an older kid. Uh, I think that y you can go a little bit further, not much further than that. Uh, you know, it's sort of on the cusp of, I took a weight, a legit weight training class, like in high school and I totally benefited from it. Like all the, you know, mechanics of it, the levers, the technique, uh, and, and I loved it. And that's something that I was glad to have. And I know it's not offered at every school and I wish it was, uh, in terms of like the middle school, I think it's, it's definitely teaching the movements. So if you do, if you do want to go like the, the body weight route, I think that's smart. I think it's, it's slowing the whole class down and it's really being able to articulate, uh, you, you know, where they are in space. So they're very aware that their knees traveling a certain distance, they're holding their body, like have them like freeze, you know, like at a certain part of the movement and everybody freezes and you kind of are, are more aware of this. The reason why I brought up prime is just to have them go through those three movements so they can see, you know, oh, wow, my, my arms can't stay touched to the wall. Uh, you know, for the wall press. Mm -hmm. Oh no, I can't twist my body like that, you know, with, with my upper back, uh, you know, to, to be able to produce a windmill, you know, I can't, I can't uh, squat with, with it touching all points. Like it, it's just, it's, it's really raising that awareness. And then, you know, I would think that really focusing the attention on the body weight exercise, like I said, mm -hmm. lunge, push ups, squats, like air squats, you know, basic things, but really like, you know, taking your time uh, with it. I'll give you an example of, a, of like a way to make it kind of fun because it's just a couple things I used to do with kids. One thing I would do is to work on balance and strength. I would have a kid balance on one foot and then I drop either jacks or pencils or something on the ground around them. And it's mm -hmm. okay, how many can you pick up? without putting your other foot down. And it would be a game, like, oh, you got five or you mm. got six, and mm -hmm. they're just bending over, picking up while they're standing on one yeah, foot. Yeah, games are super effective. Yeah, another one that I would do is I would have them stand on one foot, and we would hit a balloon back and forth. And the goal was for them to miss the balloon but stay on that one foot. So I'd hit it to them, and then they'd hit it back, and we'd go back and forth. Um, making the things fun is just as important as doing the right things with kids because you want to create a, a good association with exercise, a lot of kids have a bad association with PE. You know, like, oh, my teacher made me run the mile. Oh, it sucked. Everything sucked, and they don't want to do it. Then the second they don't have to be active, they're done. Mm -hmm. One of the best things you could do is create a good association so they can think back and be like, oh, wow, Mrs. Johnson, she was – that class was great. We did these wonderful stretches. We did these fun games. You know, I really enjoyed it. Now you've, you've potentially created kind of this lifelong association, a positive association uh, with exercise. Yeah, I, I love the I love the prime idea that Justin's saying with the assessment tool in there. I think that's a valuable thing. I think that uh, Maps Anywhere protocol I think is is phenomenal. There's a lot of great core body weight stuff that's in there that I think you could teach uh, to middle school kids. And then uh, to piggyback off of what Sal's saying, you know, I, I remember teaching like some of my boot camp classes where I had all the kids come and. 
you know, we do fun things like that where we, we would do sprints on the lawn and we try and make, I'd make games out of it. You know, I know you can't, I know steal the bacon is not something we can do anymore in school these days, which is unfortunate, really? but well, you can't steal the bacon. No, you can't do red Rover. I thought steal the bacon is gone too. Is it How steal, can you, why? Was it steal the broccoli or something? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> but I mean, I would get them in a line too and do like, Nobody uh, wants to steal the broccoli. Walking lunges, and then I would, you know, like blow a whistle, and they'd have to stop where they're at and stabilize or balance, you know. So they do like l- walking lunges in a line, all of them together in a group, mm-hmm. and then have them pause at the top while they're balancing on one leg. And yeah. Like, so there's a lot of things like that that you red can light, get, green light. Yeah, you can get creative like that, um, and I think that's I think that's true. I think Sal's right. I think you can't. You can't overcomplicate the programming to where uh, you're just you're at that age. You're trying to introduce them uh, to exercise. You're trying to make it fun. Mm-hmm. Uh, you you want to you want to encourage good movement, but then at the same time too, you don't want to overcomplicate it so much that because teaching someone a, a squat mechanic is is extremely difficult. You know, yeah. teaching them how to deadlift is at that age. It's really really, and then in a group setting. You're talking about, and then also fun. I mean, that's good. to to do it well. You'd have to stop the class every every minute and and break everything down. So and kids nowadays are so much less active that you're yeah. It would, yeah I know. I mean, man. I'm serious. It yeah. would be like, and by the time they're in middle school, so you're dealing with what twelve year old yeah. kids. Any movement is great. Yeah, 12, 13 year old. They don't want to sweat. You know, they got looking at the girl over there. The girl's like, I don't want to mess up my hair. And none of them are active because nobody's active anymore. Yeah. So keep it basic and fun would be the, the the main pieces of advice I could give. And then if you're doing the correctional exercise stuff with that, then you can start to move from kid to kid and mm-hmm. you know help them out. All right, we're all going to get on the floor. We're getting a position called 90-90. Here's what I want you guys to do. Then stand up and walk around, tell jokes, have fun with them, see, show them what they can do with their leg or whatever, and, and try and make it kind of a, a more positive experience. 